If time heals most wounds, some wounds are beyond the reach of time. Lansana Sese lives in Freetown, in a camp for amputees and war wounded, victims of what the rebels simply called cuttings. Mass amputations of non-combatants, intended to terrorize civilians. There was no mercy. I asked him to leave one hand. He said, no, we're going to chop all your both hands. He ran after the rebels, begging them to shoot him. Without my hands, he said, I might as well be dead. But the rebels refused. Next to the camp is a workshop making artificial limbs. But there is nothing here that can ease the searing memory of the nightmares. Now, the, the, the perpetrators of these actions were asking the people, do you want a long sleeve or short sleeve? Uh, by this they mean, do you want your hands cut right up here or right down here? Age didn't matter. Momi Kroma was only three months old when rebels attacked her family's house. They chopped off both her father's hands and then cut off her left arm. Her father bled to death in front of her. Her mother, Amanita, who was away from home during the attack, doesn't know what happened to her other three children. Rebels ordered Hassan Ba to hold down his son's hand while they hacked off his arm. And then it was Hassan's turn. They took one of his daughters back to the bush, where she became a sex slave for the rebels. Then they killed his baby son. And my child, the other one, the suckling one, they took him and chunk it in the toilet. So many lives, so randomly shattered. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Freetown.